Hi everybody, if you would like to create an interior space for yourself that is both energizing and beautiful for you to live in and work from, and uniquely created in such a way to support your life goals anywhere from your finances, career, health, and even for your relationships, then you're going to want to stick around to hear what I have to share. You'll learn in today's 1.0 of a two-part video that it's more than just what meets the eye that goes into creating a wonderful interior design space. So stay with me because in this video I'm going to share an important and perhaps crucial tip with you that can take your space from feeling, eh, well, you know, maybe like a hindrance to a space that is vibrant and energized and uplifting, a space that supports the goals and fulfillment of your life. And who doesn't want that? Who doesn't need that? Especially in today's world. So on this channel, you know, we take design beyond the visual. So if you are curious and excited to hear all about how you can achieve that and more, please hit the like, share, and subscribe buttons right now and make sure you hit the bell next to subscribe so that you can get notifications when I post my videos, which by the way is once a week. So let's get right into it. Hello and welcome everyone to Design Beyond the Visual. I'm Heidi Smith, your decorating coach and energetic advisor for you, your home, and for your workplace spaces. And I'm here to help empower you by giving you ways to create good Vastu design for your whole home. You'll learn on this channel how I use a unique blend of influences for creating interior spaces by offering you a blend of conventional design wisdom, those aesthetic and functional elements that go into creating interior spaces, and along with what I am also very passionate about and excited to share with you each week, and those are Vastu tips, very specific techniques that work to support, generate, and boost the positive energy flow in your interior spaces. It's the sacred sauce for all my work and the foundation for my life. So, for those of you, by the way, who may be new to the term Vastu, well, there's nothing new about Vastu because it's been around for over 10,000 years. And it is an ancient science and wisdom that creates an energy, that feeling you get when you are in a space. We all feel it. So we use Vastu tenets to create and amplify that sense of harmony and good health and bring that into our buildings, our homes, and our workplace environments, this places that we live in and work from, right? You can think of it as uh, yoga for the home, the yoga of design, um, but it is a powerful and effective system of energy, like I said, that's been around for over 10,000 years. And by the way, it's also a sister science to yoga and meditation, all originating from India. So believe it or not, I actually see clutter as a key tenet for the work I do. And you will hear me say this over and over again. I created this channel to impart that when you are looking to create a nice interior space for yourself, there's actually a whole lot more to it than you know just me giving you some how-tos to do that. And by the way, I'm very happy to do that. But where I come from in my life philosophy and deep spirituality is I create spaces in such a way for you so that you can have a deep connection and a sense of you know truly belonging to your space. So there's much more to it than you know, just how a space is going to look or even function for you. My work is certainly about that too, but what is vitally important is how a space feels or even how you want your space to feel. So first of all, uh, it's what we're here to talk about. It's not a fun thing to talk about, but it's clutter. One word for clutter is just, it's yuck. I'm just going to get real real with you. Straight up, clutter just makes my skin crawl. So I'm warning you, I get a little, <laughs> a little sassy, a little crabby cakes. 
when I talk about clutter because, well, I'll give you some very real reasons why that is and specifically how, you know, it can negatively affect us in the spaces we inhabit. There's really just nothing good about clutter. So you might want to take some notes on this um, because, like I said, the effect clutter can have on us is more than, you know, more than what meets the eye. And yes, clutter could even be negatively affecting your finances. And if that sounds a little far-fetched, you know, I, I get it, but just stay with me. It'll make more sense to you in just a minute or two because I'm gonna share with you a specific tip on how clutter in your environment could be, like I said, adversely affecting your finances. So creating a harmonic and supportive space for you to live in and or work from can often mean looking into what's behind the visual. You know, this is beyond the visual channel, right? Design beyond the visual. But I'm not talking about, you know, what's behind the sheetrock or um, uh, what's behind, what's under the the wall-to-wall -wall carpet when you pull it up. I'm referring to what is in the energy field of your space. So here's what I'm getting at. Is it a space that feels nurturing and supportive for your life goals or focus? Or does it feel draining, um, you know, drains your energy, zaps your energy? And, you know, might you be experiencing some challenges in specific sectors of life, such as, you know, like I mentioned, relationships, your career, finances, your health. If you're nodding your head yes to any of that, well, in a few minutes, I'm gonna give you an important takeaway that could get things moving in a much more positive direction for you. I mean, here's the thing. You know, hmm. I can teach you all day long how to have a better aesthetic. And real quick, I'm all about a great aesthetic. Trust me. <laughs> I'm not knocking that at all. But having an energetically balanced foundation, that structure, um, that's the part that goes beyond the visual. We're talking about the things that are not apparent to us, the unseen in the energy field that can potentially cause blocks or dis-ease, you know, wreaking havoc, um, you know, with the flow of our day-to-day -day life. Well, this is where we start, this is where we end, and, and this is the middle too. You know, I do not recommend or begin any design um, or decor adjustment without considering, you know, how the energy of a space will be affected. Um, you know, how does your space feel? This matters. So, because if it's, you know, if it's not feeling like home, that safe and nourishing feeling, that should tell you something. You know, it could be obvious or, or not so obvious disruptors that are blocking the flow of energy within your space. And that's where Vastu comes in, where we energetically or adjust, um, energetically adjust or align rather our physical space to better support the whole of our lives. So one of the first things I inquire about in my work is, do you have any clutter in or around your space? And if so, where in the space is the clutter located? Um, that tells me a lot. So, um, and just real quick, this is very important to know before spending any money on decorating or redesign for your space. I'm telling you, if, if you have clutter in your space, it's, it's just gonna be impossible to see, let alone enjoy a good and healthy interior design or decor update you may want to implement. Because your eye will simply be thrown all over the place, just you know, like the clutter might be. So even if you have neat piles of clutter, it's still clutter. So don't spend any money on anything until you really address the clutter. So ultimately, you know, it, it's not gonna feel right or good or serve you in any way that's positively enhancing you or your space. 
if you keep the clutter around. And it throws your inner alignment off because it's throwing your physical spaces, energetic alignment out of balance too. And we feel that and that in turn affects us either negatively or positively. Okay, so here's what this can look like for you. I'll give you an example. Um, if you have, this is a critical tip here, if you have a bunch of junk in the northeast direction of your home or workplace environment, that clutter, that stuff that's piled up, the stuff you've got too much of, you know what I'm talking about, get it out of there. That stuff sucks up vital energy in the space. It blocks off the flow of positive energy. And here's what you need to know. If it, the clutter, is located in the northeast direction, that is our money sector in Vastu. So what that can mean to the universe is the clutter can actually be sending out energetic blocks of choking off the positive flow to your finances. You know, you can think of it as um, a message to the divine that says, you know, I don't really care. There's no judgment by the universe. You know, if you're buried in your stuff or your space is buried in your stuff, it's just noted that you are accumulating stuff. But, and that's basically what you're calling in. I would much rather uh, you be sending a different message out there that says, I'm in the ease and flow of, of my finances, finances energy, you know, right? I mean, this is one thing and it's a big thing, but you can do this to get the energy. You can remove the clutter, but to get the energy moving with more positive flow in your environment by eliminating the stress in your space that the clutter is creating. And clutter, by the way, creates stress. It buries us in heaviness and it feels heavy and you know, some of it is actually heavy, right? And clutter, you know, it makes us anxious. So whether we're aware of it or not, and if you don't believe me, you know, clear away uh, some of your clutter and just see how much more open it starts to make you feel. And by the way, I'm not saying that there couldn't be other, you know, imbalances in your space that may need to be addressed or adjusted, but this is something you can do for yourself. You know, remove the clutter, create an opening for better flow. We want our finances to positively flow, you know, not be um, impeded or stuck, but to be and feel fluid and supportive for the very lives we're living. So I hope that takeaway was very helpful and got you thinking about how clutter may be playing a role in negatively impacting your prosperity and livelihood. And I would love to hear in the comments your takeaway or any action steps, if applicable, that you may be taking. And, you know, just how making space for what you do want in your life is feeling for you. So, be on the lookout for 2.0 Unclutter, Uncover, Discover, where I'll be sharing with you a personal story on how clutter negatively impacted, you know, my own life and how getting rid of that clutter moved my life forward in a way I had never imagined. So don't forget to hit the like, share, and subscribe button. Uh, and you know I appreciate your support. So thank you for joining me. Thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing, as I said. All supports this channel. And please let me know in the comments below, you know, how I can help you, um, how I can empower you, or what challenges, you know, you may be facing. And, uh, and to help bring to you a deeper sense of connection to your homes and workplace spaces so that your day-to-day -day life is always and in all ways infused with beauty, brilliance, and balance, and it's easier than you think. I wish you all good Vastu. Bye, everybody.